The Apple Savings Account is a new way to save in a high-yield account without fees. The Apple Credit Card has been around for a while now, and if you have one, you can make purchases and receive daily cash. However, until now, you could only house your cash in the Apple Cash Card. But what will the Apple Savings Account offer, and is it worth moving your savings account into an Apple-branded account? Well, here's what you need to know. Let's get started. Users with an Apple card can choose to open an Apple savings account, then deposit their daily cash to get more out of the rewards that you earn with your Apple credit card. Daily cash is then automatically deposited into the account and users can deposit additional funds directly from a linked bank account. So what's the Apple savings account interest rate? Or are they charging fees? Well, right now, the interest rate that Apple is offering is 4.15%, and they're trying to go the route of no fees. So Apple says that its new Apple savings account has no fees, no minimum deposit, no minimum balance requirements. So if your current savings account in your bank is charging fees and has a minimum balance, you might want to take a look at the Apple Savings Account. Currently, the Apple Savings Account is only available to customers with an Apple credit card. So you need the Apple card to sign up for the new savings account. If you have a co-owner on the card, each person can have their own savings account rather than a joint one. However, this rules out the option if you have a child as an authorized user. They cannot open an account. You must be 18 years old and your Apple card needs to be in good standing. To set up your Apple savings account, you'll do it from inside the wallet app. So you'll open the wallet app. You'll tap on your Apple credit card, and I already have mine set up, so mine looks a little bit different. You'll tap on the More icon in the upper right corner, select Daily Cash, and then go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions to set up your account. Once you have your savings account set up, you can watch your rewards grow in the wallet app through the savings dashboard, and you can access your account details, documents, and notifications. And to do this, you'll come into the wallet app, you'll tap on your card, and now you'll see an option for savings account. If I tap on that, you'll see some options here to see you know, what my balances are and those types of things. If I tap on the more icon in the upper right corner, you'll see some other options. I can go into my account details where I can see the interest rate and that type of thing. I can also see uh, my bank accounts that are attached, my routing numbers and that um, those things. If I tap on account information, you'll come into an area where you see your, your uh, email address and your mailing address. And then there's an area to manage beneficiaries. To do that, though, once you tap on this area, you'll see that you're going to need to call Goldman Sachs to add your beneficiaries. Right now, you can't manage them inside the app. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the uh, uh, arrow in the upper left-hand corner to come back. I'm going to tap on the icon, the more icon again. In documents, this is where you're going to find your tax documents and your statements. And my account is relatively new, so I only have one statement there. If I tap on the more icon one more time, here's where you can set up notifications so that if the interest rate changes or whatever, you'll be notified and it'll notify you monthly on how much interest that you've accrued. It's also easy to add or withdraw money from your account. So once you're inside uh, the wallet area, the wallet app, and you've tapped on the credit card, if I tap on savings account, you'll see right away, there's an area here where I can add money or withdraw money. If I tap on add money, you just put in the amount that you want to add, 
tap on next. If you have bank accounts attached, you'll see them there. And if you have more than one, tap on the little arrow, choose the bank account that you want to use uh, to add cash to your savings account. And once you do that, then you'll be guided to double click to transfer that money from your bank account to your Apple savings account. It also works the same way if I wanted to withdraw money, I tap on withdraw. I enter in the amount that I want to in withdraw. It also gives you the available amount that you have. So obviously you cannot withdraw more money than is in the account. Tap on next. And then it's going to ask you where you want to send that money. So you can go ahead and send it to the bank accounts that you have attached. And that's how easy it is to add or withdraw money from your Apple savings account. The Apple savings account was a no brainer for me. I have an Apple credit card and I had Apple daily cash available. So I signed up. If you have a card, it might be worthwhile to take a look. The 4.15 APR was far better than what I was getting at my bank. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.